Do you sometimes struggle to get that clean, professional looking feel to your slides? Well, you should probably be using templates. Now, before we start, there's a lot of templates available online. Some good ones, and unfortunately, a lot of bad ones. And that's the reason why I started making them myself. The one I'm using as a demo today is one I'm very proud of. And it's available in light and dark mode in just one simple click, which I think is pretty cool. And they're available in both Canva and PowerPoint. Let's start with the first reason, which is time saving. Now, instead of starting from scratch every single time you make a slide, you can just choose one of the over a hundred different slides that are available with the most common designs. So let's jump in the slide and see what that looks like. So here I've made the different slides available. And if we go to the overview section here, we can see there's more than a hundred slides with very common layouts like introductions, choosing a team member, some mockups, timelines, SWOT analysis, different picture placeholders. There's a lot of the designs that you can reuse. So let's say we want to show, for example, a large image with three benefits. We can choose this one, double click it. It will go into the slide and here we can just add our image. So the way I've built it is I've added placeholders for images and for text. And for the image, you can just go to insert icons and here we go to the library or just drag in your images yourself. And let's say building green and now you can scroll through the library that's available and press insert and it will automatically fill into that part of the placeholder. Here you can just type in the text, for example, benefit one, benefit two, let's keep it consistent, and benefit three. You can just fill in the text if you want. And of course, if you want to have that caps, you can just easily do it and then have a pretty consistent, cool design. So in just a few seconds, you can easily add any content to the slide. Now, the cool thing is the image placeholders, and this is where the time saver is. Let's say you have, for example, three team members that you want to show. So for that, I'll go to the overview. I'll look for a slide with the three art images. So let's say we do this one. And here we want to drag in our team members. And I just go to my finder window or the folder and I drag in the three different images and just release them on the slide and they will automatically fill into the correct text box or the correct placeholder for the image, which is pretty cool. If you want to adjust it, you can just right click and crop and then adjust the selection, make it larger, smaller or readjust the selection. But everything looks quite consistent and clear in the image placeholders. Same here, you can just type in the name John Doe Smith and then adjust the text if you want. And instantly like this, you have quite a cool slide available in just a few simple clicks that you can use for your presentation. Now, obviously you can also just change the title. So for example, meet the team. And here we say subtitle are superheroes. You can always delete it if you don't need it and then just put it on full screen. And here we have quite a cool slide. So in just a few seconds, you will have your slide and presentation ready. And it's pretty easy to just take one of the elements and just type in your content or drag in your images. So I think it's a really good time saver. And that brings us to the second tip, which is going to be a consistent look and feel. And the cool thing about using templates is that you'll always have that consistent look and feel in your slides. For example, if we scroll up, we can see that all of the images have this rounded corner. And you see it coming back in all the images, but also across the slides. So even the four parts, the six parts, or if you scroll all the way down and you'll see, for example, this one, it all has that consistent look and feel in the images. Same goes for the fonts, the colors, the caps, everything has been thought of. So you can just fill in your content. Don't have to worry about the consistency at all. You'll get a pretty cool result. So if we then look at the overall view here, we can see a lot of slides that have the consistent look and feel. Now, if you don't like this light version, you can instantly change it to dark. And that is pretty cool because you have the same layout. And also if we get one slide, you see all the text elements have been adjusted. So the background is dark, the fonts turn lighter and all the elements have that different touch. So if I put it on full screen and we scroll through a few slides, you can see that everything has been changed accordingly. So the light and dark version will both be available for you and you can just drag in your images if you want and get a really cool presentation going. And that brings us to the third part, which is the visual appeal. And I've literally made thousands of slides in my life. So that's why I kind of developed that eye for design and the balance, the hierarchy, all of these elements. So in the presentation, what I've done is I've tried to add as many things that could be useful for you. For example, we have three part overviews with images, four part, just added them in there with eight parts. So you can just select whichever one you need, use it, dragging your text, dragging your images. 
Same goes for, for example, the mockups, because a lot of people use screenshots. You can just use one of the mockups with a laptop already being there, with some phones being stacked in a, in a way that is visually appealing. Maybe you need some text next to it. I've added all those things, and then you can go to insert, go to icons, images, and let's say we want nature or spell that right. You can just add two images, add them to your presentation, and they will instantly fill into that part. You can do this with screenshots that you've just taken from your phone, drag them in, and it will be nice. And that goes for any of the different placeholders. So for example, this one, let's go to insert, icons, and let's do building. Select one that you like. Let's say this one, insert it, and it will add to the slide. And if you don't like it, you just select it, press backspace, and it will delete it, but still keep that frame. So it's pretty cool, and you can, in a very dynamic, fast way, you can add some images and test if you like it. Now that brings us to the last part, which is going to be brand customization. And for that, I've used these standard fonts in the presentation, as well as the colors, so they're easy for you to customize for your brand. Let's jump in and see how we do it. So here we have the black version. If we go to View, Slide Master, here we can see all of the different styles I've made. You can add your own, you can customize them however you like. Let's go for, for example, the fonts. So here you can see I'm using the Aptos display. If you want to change it to your own font or to another font, let's say you want to use Garamond or you use anything else for your presentation, you can just change it, close the Slide Master, and the entire presentation will be adjusted. So all of the fonts will be adjusted to the one that you've chosen. And it still all looks pretty nice, pretty balanced. So that's, I think, a pretty cool way to make a presentation. Now, of course, this goes for any other font that you like. And you can just add your own, change them to the style that you want. I've used the Aptos one since it's the basic one that is available on both Mac and Windows. Same goes for the colors. You can just adjust the color palette to whichever one that you have and change that little black color to something dark for you or that white color for, some, for the white color. And once you've done that, it will automatically change any of the color of the presentation. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do in this template. What I would say is don't start from scratch on your presentations. Start from a solid presentation that you can just take any of the designs from and just make them your own. Customize them with images, with text and build your own presentation. It's like having a set of Lego blocks and you can just build your presentation. So it's pretty cool. Now, if you want to download this presentation, I put the link in the description below. It's available in light and dark mode and also both Canva and PowerPoint are all included in the package. Now definitely let me know what you think of the template in the comments below. And if you want to see any updates, just add them there and I'll add them to the slides.